a stud in high school, a stud at UCLA, and he's going to be in Cincinnati for a, a long, long time. Matt joins us on the stove. Uh, Matt, good morning. You're joining us from the rookie program, the MLBPA rookie program today. Good to see you. Tell us about what's happening in Scottsdale. Yeah, good to see you guys. Thanks for having me. Um, I'm just working out, getting ready for spring training. Um, hanging out, unfortunately not playing golf, but um, just getting ready, working out, hanging out with my brothers and chilling. <laughs> you know, what's interesting is that the, the program in Arizona that you guys are, are going through, what are some of the things that you're learning there? Uh, like right now? Oh, uh, yeah, we're learning about, you know, just different guys' experiences coming up through the uh, through the minor leagues, um, you know, through their debuts, how their lives have changed, um, how their families' lives have changed, and just really how to, uh, how the player and the person have transformed on and off the field um, through this program. It's really cool to get different guys' insights and different guys' experiences. There's so many players, uh, you know, that, that debut, Matt, that go through this program uh, that, that struggle initially, right, when they get to the big leagues for whatever reason. It's too much pressure. Um, the competition's different. That was not your story at all. You hit the ground running. Could you have envisioned a smoother start to a career? Are you the kind of guy that knows your, your heartbeat's so strong, you know you're going to be there? Or were there any moments of self-doubt for you in May? Uh, no, I don't think, you know, nothing came easy at all. I mean, the game is so tough and the players are good. They make adjustments so fast. So it's a constant game of, you know, chess and they're making adjustments to you and you just got to be able to make them back. Um, and sometimes they take a little bit quicker and sometimes they take a little longer. So, no, it's going to be a constant battle for me and it always will be as long as I play and really anyone who plays the game. But um, I'm looking forward to it. You know, Matt, uh, I'd be remiss if I don't compliment you on the mustache. Very nice. Um, Thank you. I, I just wanted to ask you, I think at the end of the season, we see, especially with young players, the organization will, will have them in. They'll talk to them. They'll talk to them about things that they would like them to work on. What are some of the things that you've identified that you've been working on this winter to take you to the next level next year? Uh, I mean, f f first and foremost, with my injury at the end of the year, the oblique, just getting back uh, and being healthy and feeling 100% and uh, trying to play every single game that I can um, and be on the field for my team as much as possible next year. But um, other things, you know, just continue to use the whole field, hit hard line drives, and then being able to play anywhere on the field, that's always something I've prided myself on. Um, those two things are really big for me right now. We have some footage here of your first homer, Matt. You're 23 years old. You're in the big leagues for the first month of your life, and your your first homer comes against a guy who has a pretty good Hall of Fame case in Adam yeah. Wainwright. Did you get the ball back? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, it's in my room at home. That, yeah, that was cool. Did you have to do a lot of brokering for it, like tickets, shoes? How did it come to you? Um, I think I signed a base and then they were given some tickets. Um, it wasn't too bad. Jim Myers uh, did a really good job with that. He, he was quick on it. You had to sign a base? Is that what the guy asked for? The fan wanted a base? Yeah, he wanted, I think he wanted like a bunch of my bats. And uh, Jim was like, what about a base? And <laughs> the guy was like, the guy was like, yeah, or something like that happened. But like, I was like, yeah, the base is way better than like a bunch of my bats. Like, that's such a random item, but but good, but good on you. Hey, I want to ask you this too about the the Reds and this. Uh, it, it it seemed to us on the outside looking in, like the entire graduating class got to the big leagues at the same time. Guys that were drafted around the same time played together around the same time in the minors. Do you feel that way? Is there that sense of uh, graduation together with the group? Yeah, um, a lot of guys that played in Chattanooga last year together. Um, and other guys, but um, it, it did feel like that a little bit. You know, a lot of us got drafted in uh, 21. Uh, me, Abbott, um, Ellie, Ellie didn't get drafted. Uh, Christian Strand, uh, he got traded over. So like a lot of us played together um, coming up. So yeah, Steer got traded over. So we all know each other well and we're all good friends and uh, it's fun to play on the same field as these guys because they're, they're fun to play with. You know, Matt, I just wanted to ask you one question. I've been asking a lot of players your age, drafted in 2021, first round, 17th pick. That means 
that you were in college during the COVID year. What was that? Mm. It had to be surreal to try to keep your game fresh at the same time with no place to play. Yeah, uh, it definitely was. I mean, the whole thing was just kind of shut off, you know, basically like on a dime. No one knew what was happening. Um, so I went home and basically just trained. I was fortunate to be able to work out at home with my brothers in the front yard and stuff like that. So there was stuff that we could do, but uh, no, it wasn't easy. Um, but it was it was a weird time for everyone. <laughs> Hey, uh, so because your college days are not exactly like, uh, you know, way back in the rearview mirror, I'm sure you can still access those days pretty, uh, pretty easily, Matt. We have assembled yeah. a few UCLA Bruin baseball trivia questions for you. Can we, can we do this with you? Want to take a stab at this? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Uh, we'll give you some clues. You identify the player. And uh, I, think that, I think these are all well within reach. This first player, this former Bruin, left UCLA as the all-time homer hits, RBIs, and runs leader. That should probably get it for you right there. Played, uh, is a current Major League manager. He was well-traveled as a player. Sparky Anderson had him as the next Stan Musial, just as a little kind of <laughs> added, added incentive. Who CLA? Who is the Bruin we're talking about, Matt? He's a manager now. Current big league manager. Left all-time leader in hits. All-time leader in hits, homers, runs batted in, and <laughs> runs scored. We got to uh, – let's give it up. Let's give it up. Uh, Dave Roberts. Oh, that's a good guess. No. It's Tory. Yes. Good guess in Dave Roberts. I would not have had him with the home runs, but – Nor would I. Yeah. I would not have had him there either. I, I would have had Karros there, by the way. By the way, Eric Karros is the all-time leader in homers by players born in New Jersey. Really? Just put that one away. Uh, let's let's get to the next one. That's let's get to the sweet. next one. Here we go. A little younger guy. Graduated from the same high school as Garrett Cole. UCLA was his dream school. Not sure what, was that. Or I think it was Orange Lutheran. If I got that right for for Cole in Orange yeah. County, where you where you grew yeah. up around your part of the world too, Matt. First round pick by an NL Central team. Uh, Garrett Mitchell. This is a little misleading. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Nice. Yeah. Garrett Mitchell. You played with him. You guys were at UCLA together, weren't you? Yeah, we were. One more. Last one here. Uh, and I think I think this is you'll get this one too. There's a Cole connection here as well. Two-time MVP as a Bruin, team MVP, won two World Series titles, has played his entire career near his hometown. His family was season ticket holders for the team that he has starred for. Uh, and at the end, this one gives it away. His sister can't decide who is her favorite Bruin, brother or husband. Who's CLA? Who's this, Matt? Garrett Cole. No. Who is it? Flip it around. Who would your other guest be? It is, yeah. Brandon Dang. Crawford. I, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Hey, thanks for playing the game. We appreciate your time, Matt. Good to visit with you. Enjoy the rest of the MLBPA rookie program, and uh, we can't wait to watch you during your sophomore season in Cincinnati. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it.